No one saw COVID-19 coming and boy, did it hit with a vengeance. But in the middle of it, if you start to talk to people and start to really listen, you can see a direction that it seems like we're pointing to. And when we look out past COVID-19 through the recovery phase and beyond, we see about five major trends that every business leader should be aware of right now and thinking about how do they leverage those. The first one is be resilient. I mean, change comes at us now every day at a magnitude we never expected before. So you got to be nimble, lean, resilient. Think about your durability of your business model constantly. Number two is really thinking about the team effort. I've never before really since I can remember that we have been so focused on, we can all do this together. I think this is gonna last. I think when, who's gonna pay for all the COVID relief? We're gonna to have to do more with less and we're gonna to have to do it by being better teammates, by public and private sector working together, by different jurisdictions saying, I'll do that, you do this. I think that's gonna be a real sign of, of, of the future, a real ethos that we're all gonna embrace. Another one is hyperconnect. I think deep down what drives all of us is trying to find a sense of belonging. And when you're in crisis, this feeling, it goes on overdrive. And when you're in the middle of economic uncertainty, people, especially after they've been asked to stay in their homes for a certain amount of time, just want to connect with one another. And I don't think that's going away. I think we're going to see that sticking around for a long, long time, this authentic hyper-connect in an authentic way to other people and places. But the trend that's really gonna change how we think about economic development and community, and, and we call this in, in its simplest way, go remote. Well, well America before COVID-19 was a third distributed in terms of the workforce. People didn't go into the office, one third. We thought it would get to 50% by 2030. It's, it's gonna get to 50% right after this thing's over. It just got turned on overnight. And fortunately, there were tools there that allowed us to really do what we do, but not having to go to the office. And I think that's gonna have a really big implication for another trend that we're following, which is economic development is really gonna shift more from uh, business attraction to more talent attraction and being run more like a tourism campaign than a recruitment of business campaign. And so we're gonna find people deciding to leave I think the, the really high dense cities and large, large cities like New York and Chicago and San Francisco and start to think about wonderful places to live that are less dense, but have an incredible quality of life and, the, and actually a lower cost of living. And what we're gonna find is that the more and more talent we attract with our natural assets and our incredible beauty and their temperate climate and our diversity and our spirit of inclusion makes our market an incredibly welcoming and diverse place. And I think all that's gonna spell success for us in the future. We're gonna have more and more people calling the 757 home.